Okay, what we're showing here is an alternative to buying a mould for your lost wax, for your jewellery or any, any small castings. The thing about this, this technique, it is two-dimensional only. So any two-dimensional shape that you can get into computer clip art, you can draw yourself in paint or whatever as a bitmap vector or scanned in to produce a printed image on a piece of transparency so that we've got a negative to use this process which is essentially a photographic like process it uses the negative which will be exposed to ultraviolet light and the ultraviolet light that gets past the negative will set this polymer sheet from a liquid resin to a tough backing which is quite durable and where our image was drawn and masked away the light you'll see that it's left a nice deep mold for us to mold our lost wax so in when you're doing the job you put on the negative you put on the unexposed it's like a pink sachet onto there a black backing and complete the sandwich of the, of the frame it clamps together magnetically and this sandwich now can go into an ultraviolet exposure unit we're, we're borrowing a ladies nail exposure unit for the appropriate time about 45 seconds to a minute and at the end of the exposure the photo polymer which has been exposed to the light will be set firm and the polymer which has been masked off can then be washed out of the backing in warm soapy water leaving us a one-to-one -one of the artwork that we started with this is where our lost wax can okay. be okay well we've got the mold for our lost wax the photopolymer is washed out and dried and we're going to now fill the mold with pattern wax with larger open casting you can pour in from a ladle with a closed mould it's normal to inject in. A small open cast is a little bit tricky and I, I like to dribble it in, nothing more technical than that, with a 15 watt iron. You can be quite selective, almost like writing with the wax job done wipe the hot wax off so it doesn't burn away it, it is quite smelly process and what we've got when we peel that out in just a couple of minutes is a nicely finished on front and sides the the um, exposing in the UV uh, unit gives a chamfered finish a tapered side to the job and we've got the meniscus of the of the wax just showing on the top there to give a finish and the more practice you have putting the right amount of wax to give the meniscus the less fiddling about you have to clean up the the wax prior to investing but this is now ready to either be have um, a jump ring waxed on on the end so it's it's all one cast or wait until you've cast and solder a jump ring onto it